Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, it's been, you know, we've had our moments this year where we've looked really, really good. And we've had our moments when we've just looked god awful. And this is where on a day, actually a week, um, the last week we've seen some really good players getting traded from Devontae Adams, Amari Cooper, and now this morning, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, where the Cowboys being that team that spends the least in free agency and things and always being told that we believe in our guys and what we do in the draft and things. Um, there's nothing wrong with believing in your guys and stuff, but you still have to supplement. And you also have to accept the fact that sometimes maybe you just don't hit on your picks. And that is a problem that the Cowboys seem to have is admitting when they're wrong. This is where the real problem is. Jerry Jones is still falling on a sword that, oh God, getting Derrick Henry was not the right move. First, it was he was too expensive. Now, he didn't fit our scheme. Come on, man. Just admit it. We messed up. We had an opportunity, and we didn't follow through on it. And just move on. Instead of continually making it more and more painful for us Cowboy fans. Be that as it may, uh, the Star has done an article. Richard... Poloni? Poloni. I'm sorry. I Forgive me for uh, butchering up your name. I, I am the name butcher. That's what I do. But this is an article about grading the Cowboys rookie at this point. Now, you may agree or disagree with it. But I want to go through this to see, do we get enough oomph out of the draft? Now, for me, here's the way I look at a draft to say it was good or not. That you have an instant impact player. That a day one starter that makes your team better. You also need to get another starter, another really good starter out of it. You need to get some depth, and you need to get a special team standout. Anything beyond that, to me, is always a good draft. Okay? So, after six games in, after having the bye week, this is where, where they're rating everybody. Um, so, we'll go through the whole article. With the season roughly a third of the quarter gone, the Cowboys' bye week was a good time for the entire organization to take a knee and closely examine the 3-3 three and three season. Um, they shouldn't like what they see. Uh-oh. Only center Cooper Beebe earns a grade in the A- minus range. Tyler Guyton, Marshawn Nealon, Martez Lotufu, and Keelan Carsons all fall within the B range. But the rest of the rookie class, including the undrafted free agents, it's a failing grade. So understand, here's what, what, what we are going for with the Cowboys is we believe in our own guys and we're going to win from within. That's the philosophy. We don't need no Derrick Henrys. We don't need no DeAndre Hopkins or things like that. We are going to go with our homegrown talent. The overall grade for the rookie so far is a C, dead average. But in fairness, a C grade is about right for the rest of the team from the rookies, the veterans and the coaching staff and the entire front office. The good news is they have 11 games to turn it around and earn a better grade. The bad news is that it doesn't seem like they have what it takes to get it done. Here's the individual grades for the 24 class. That sounds not good. Tyler Guyton, B-. minus. It will be interesting to see who starts at left tackle for the coming game Sunday for the Dallas Cowboys. For the first five weeks, Guyton was a starter. The first-round pick out of Oklahoma had everyone talking about the next Tyron Smith. However, each with each week, Guyton seems to regress a little. The penalties were piling up, um, and his pass protection and run blocking slipped. After his injury, 23 plays into the Pittsburgh game, Tyler Smith slid over the left tackle, and T.J. Bass took Smith's slot at the guard. He got a B-, minus, and that's your number one pick. Now, mind you, we did trade back, and we ended up getting Cooper Beebe. Suddenly, okay, 
Um, suddenly, the Cowboys' running game ignited with the Cowboys host of the Lions a week later. Guyton was in uniform, but he didn't start the game. He didn't see a single snap, not even on special teams. That doesn't bode well for Guyton. If he's riding the bench again in San Francisco, that will be an even worse omen. It would also put the Cowboys on track to have wasted back-to-back first-round picks. Okay, not starting off good. Marshawn Nealon. Like Geitlin, Nealon, the second-round pick out of Western Michigan, was injured early in the win over the Steelers. Unlike Guyton, Nealon has been constantly good over the first five weeks. He's even made his first start that night in Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, um, a knee landed Nealon on IR, and that will be a few more weeks at last before he could return. He did manage 10 tackles, one for a loss, and seven solo before going down. He added three quarterback hits on one pass defended. Despite the injury, Nealon, uh, Nealon has been a lot of upside and will continue uh, positively for the Cowboys. So he gets a solid B. Okay, all right. Martez Latufu. The third-round pick out of Notre Dame isn't setting the league on fire, but in limited time, he's making plays. He has 13 tackles so far, nine solos, and one for a loss, along with one pass defended. He's had three starts this season. The loss is to the Saints and Lions, along with the win over the Giants. With DeMarvis Overshow and Eric Kendricks ahead of him, he's had uh, to make the best of his limited playing time when he gets a chance and not starting. The good news here. Yay, we finally get some good news. Cooper BB, A+. Plus. Thank you. Through six weeks, it isn't a stretch to say BB, the third-round pick out of Kansas State, has been the best pick for the Dallas Cowboys 2024 class. BB has done nothing short of rock solid as a starting center and has taken every snap of the position for Dallas so far. And mind you, mind you, against the Giants, didn't give up a pressure. And we saw Dexter Lawrence have his worst game of the season against Cooper Beebe. So shout out to Cooper Beebe and the Beebe family. Celan Carson, B-. minus, The fifth round pick out of Wake Forest, Carson was the first solid start. Um, was off to a solid start. Through the first three games, Carson had 15 tackles, all but one solo. He also had two defenders pass, and those numbers as a starter replacing Deron Bland. But Carson's injury in that third game to the Ravens, and he hasn't seen the field since. If Carson and Bland both return to the lineup on Sunday against the 49ers, it could buster a Cowboys struggling defense. He gets a B-. minus. Ryan Fontroy. Remember, Jerry Jones, when we lost um, uh, Brandon Cooks, Basically said that Ryan Fonsero, I can't wait to see his first catch. He's got Des Bryant in him. A six-round pick from Missouri State, Ryan Fontenoy got his chance last week. He probably fumbled it away, too. Getting activated for the first time just two weeks ago, Fontenoy saw no targets and 10 snaps. In the win against the Steelers, he probably saw the target last Sunday. Uh, finally saw a target against the Lions. Fontenoy caught a pass for 12 yards, then fumbled the ball away to the Lions. That's probably not the best way to get another pass thrown in your direction, nor does it bode well for the rest of Fonderoy's campaign. Nathan Thomas. Offensive tackle Nathan Thomas, the seventh-round pick out of Louisiana, has spent the season on injured reserve. He gets an F. The undrafted combine gets a D. Wow. Tight end Brett Spanform out of Minnesota has hauled in two of four targets thrown his way this year in limited action. He was 20 yards away, uh, 20 yards receiving, and has a great contribu- contribution. Um, and he has um, been a run blocker. Um, no, Trey, the light in the top has been in the game. The other three undrafted rookies currently on the practice squad. Safety. Um, he made John, Tom Johnson, defensive tackle Denzel Daxon, and linebacker Brock uh, will likely remain there on injured reserve until necessities. So there you have it. The Cowboys said, we're all in with these young guys. And you got 1A. Cooper Beebe, 1A. That's it. That's the list. That's the story. And so herein lies the problem of you let go of a bunch of veterans last year. You didn't bring in any quality players other than Eric Kendricks and Lavelle Joseph. And we look at this and say, you know, Dak, 
you know, you, we're only going to go as far as Dak takes us. We got Dak, we got CD, we don't need anybody else. Mike McCarthy, you're on the last year of contract. It's a Super Bowl or bust, and you're not giving him the tools to work with. We're relying on the draft. And you have to say that the last two drafts thus far have not been great for us. So there you have it, people. There's the problems for our Dallas Cowboys and why we're having such a hard time with actually winning. So I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say because we just think and we're not doing anything to, to change that. It's hard being a Cowboy fan right now, but maybe we get a win against San Francisco and maybe that changes things. All right, you good people. I appreciate y'all.